It's going to snow. with the strollers, we can't get down the street. So I feel very fortunate and appreciative of him. Um, we're going to do, you know, we shovel our own shit. <laughs> I know, right. We're shoveling our own boo-boo. Um, but, uh, but he's, you know, yeah. So this is Watch Me Work. And, um, and uh, we're, what we're going to do, this is a play in which we create the action and the dialogue together. And the first thing we're going to do is create the action, which is 45 minutes of working on whatever you want. And then we're going to create the dialogue, which is Q&A between you and me about your work and your creative process. That's the gesture. Your work and your creative process. And those of you out in the interwebs who are warm and cozy and dry, Pat is going to tell us. Pat or Pat? Pat. Like hers. He's going to tell us. We're going to send your tweets. At Watch Me Work SLP with the hashtag new play. At Watch Me Work SLP with the hashtag new play. At Watch Me Work, at S at Watch Me Work SLP, hashtag new play. Right, and you can tweet us and we will answer your questions and now we're going to work. Anything I forget? This is the last one before uh, we take a little bit of a break, you know? So if you have any questions, people, go ahead and ask them, because uh, for the next couple of weeks after this, I'll be rehearsing. So. so here we go. I'm going to, mm, I don't know what I'm going to do for the next 45 minutes. Perfect. Perfect time, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh,
So you, the, the, so you lost a lot of stuff, and you lost everything. Even you can't remember any of it. No, I mean I have my notebook. Oh, but, um, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you, but so you lost. Just let's talk about the play that you were working on. You lost what you had. Yeah. That play, and now you wonder if it's a sign from the snow <laughs> god that you should give it up. What do you think?
Yeah, it's just kind of like, okay, I'm here, I'm here yet. The people before were saying that you should let it go and get excited about something else. This is is a, that, no, this is a, this a, is a current day and okay. they could write something okay. else. I see. Okay. And so this was the other thing. That right. Was kind of All right. We can try to get excited. Right, right, right. And then you lost it. Right. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say this is, I mean, you could say, you know, you lose, you know, whole play and it's a sign to let it go. I mean, you know, you could say that. It, it, it might well be. But if you don't take it as that, then it's not. It's how you take it. It's not what happens. It's how you take it, right? So you're deciding that, no, 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 this is something that I really, really want. So you're using the, the loss, the, the, the difficult thing that happened as sort of a way to recommit yourself. No, this is really important to me. After all, after everything, this is really important to me. Okay? If you want to think of it winning prizes, that's great. If you want to just think of yourself crossing the finish line, that's pretty great too. Okay? So it's, it's really time to dig in. And I would say you set yourself a deadline for, you know, the next five pages. Do five pages at a time, you know? But there were a lot of things we talked about. There were a lot of things that you were doing to hold yourself back. Losing your document is something that we do to hold ourselves back. You know, I mean, as much as I admire you and like you and want you to keep coming back, I have to say to everybody that when you lose a document in this day and age, you're sabotaging yourself. You really are. Don't do that. No, no, I'll bring in Durham. He'll say, don't sabotage yourself. <laughs> I'll teach him that word beforehand and he'll come back. No, like that, he'll do that. And you'll go, oh shit, I'm sabotaging myself. You know what I mean? Don't do that. You know, in this day and age, easy ways to store things. You can email it to yourself, right? Just email it to yourself. Email it to a friend. You can just write so you have it. You can, you know, all the thumb drives and whatnots and the five and the clouds and the, you know. The, 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 the time machines and the shit we got to back ourselves up, right? Okay, so when you lose something, or let's just say when you lose so much, you're tripping yourself up. Don't do that. Ask yourself, why am I doing that? You can't find it, and there's no good reason. So just stop doing it. Because at the end of the day, when you get to be 99 years old, you're gonna be like, you know, why? You only got one chance, even if you believe in reincarnation, you only got one circle, one lap around this track that you're on right now, so why are you gonna waste it? Why are you gonna waste it? Don't waste your life. Don't waste your talent. You're not wasting your life because you have a beautiful life, okay? Because you told me that, and you have a beautiful life. But, but this is precious, what you wanna do. At least put the time in. You might not win the Tony or the Grammy or the Hammy or the, the Obie or the Juan Kenobi or whatever they got there. They keep you. You know what I mean? You might not win any of those prizes. It doesn't matter. The prizes don't matter. But you owe it to yourself. And that person in your past who told you that you weren't going to do it, because that's who we're responding to, all of us, all that negative stuff in your head is just somebody back there who told you something negative and you can't shake it. And it probably wasn't even their fault that they told you something negative because they didn't know any better. So we're not blaming them. It's on you, right? You're not responsible for the first negative thought, but you are responsible for the second one. It's on you. What you gonna do? You gotta ask yourself that question, all right? You gotta, everybody, you're at your desk, you're working. You ask yourself, what am I gonna do, right? It's like life and death. People fought and died, so you could be sitting in that chair right there. Right? Everybody, everybody has people who went without and scraped, you know, and I walked through the snow, kerosene, lanterns, and shit. I don't know what you saw. You know, the kerosene and the cow wasn't giving milk and whatever stories they got. You got some of the, everybody, we all got somebody with the milk and the cow that wasn't, and the mule that didn't, and the thing, and the ship that wasn't that big, that big, right? We're very fortunate that you're here today because you allow us to have this conversation. Because we all do it. We're always like stabbing ourselves in the back, 
We're always doing shit that's going to trip ourselves up. But we all do it. You're just here. You're a poster child. You're our spokes bottle today. Yeah, hi. Okay. Thank you so much for providing us with this opportunity. Yay, Crystal! Don't do that. Okay, do something else. So you back up. You got a time machine. You got a thumb drive. You got an email account. Like Vincent D'Onofrio in, in Law and Order, right? The scene of a crime, he always does that. Okay? It's a crime scene. Shit. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm just trying to make you laugh. Jesus Christ, I'm terrified. Okay? When you hear someone, I was carrying had one copy of my play, it was handwritten, and then they lost it in the wind. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> right? Imagine if I came to you, I had one copy. Right? So you owe it to yourself. And um, those of us who have kids, you don't want to pass that kind of behavior down. Because your kids watch you and go, ooh, ooh, I guess that's how to be. They want to play. But for you, it's not for you. It's all about them. So go write your play. Come back. I'm going to be in rehearsal, so I won't be seeing you for a couple weeks, but, you know, okay? Maybe exchange some emails with some people who come here often. Have some little email check-in shit going on. Maybe Carol will let you. Maybe Lynn. It's her ringtone. It's a man! It's <laughs> 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 Call in! <laughs> okay, right? That's good. Okay. Who else has this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Hi. Hi. Um, I was wondering you're writing, are there any rules that you keep in mind? Like, I have to have this or I can't do this. I'm just going to keep making this gesture and it's going to communicate more and more every time. Uh, I have to have a character that stands on one foot or else it's not a play. I have to, it has to be a cow in it. That's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> I have, no, I don't have any rules. Uh, I have to have words, I suppose. Mm. I don't have, no, no. You have a lot of rules, do you? I think I worry about like what will in the end be good, and I know that in the end this is good, so then when I'm sitting down to do the first draft, I'm like, well, it has to have a climactic showdown. Right, 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 right. I see what you mean. They say that knowledge is power, right? So don't misuse it, right? Knowledge is power, and it's so powerful it's going to keep me from doing my thing. <laughs> That's not what they mean, right? So you have to do two things. You, you're, you're, you know what's good, which is great. You know what's good. You know what good writing is. We all know what good, a good painting is, a good song, whatever, right? And somehow you have to completely forget what is good and do your work. So it's, it's a kind of a, you have to sort of, if, if, the knowledge is centered in your, I know nothing about brains, but if the knowledge, say, is centered in the part of your brain, that's the bushy part, you know, like that, right? The two whatever, halves. There's a space between the halves, right? Get in that space. Where there's nothing. Just do your work. Don't think looking up from the page